Time now to bring in meteorologist Marquina Brown with a look at the uh, forecast. A little bit warm out there, right? A little warm, but I heard Marquina say thunderstorms. <laughs> yeah, uh, it could get pretty dicey around here if yeah. we get into the weekend. We'll have to watch out for that. Uh, but, you know, summertime thunderstorms, uh, that's what happens, especially when you get into the daytime heating. As we take a look at what's going on outside right now, we've got a clear sky, pretty mild in the valleys. The folks in Van Nuys are... At 77 degrees, a really nice night there. Murrieta at 72 under a clear sky as well. As we take a look at what's going on for you going through the night tonight and into the overnight, we're going to hold on to a clear sky. Uh, temperatures will dip into the low to mid 60s in L.A. and by 6 a.m. some sunshine. So maybe not as much low cloud and fog activity affecting L.A. tonight as maybe last night. Waking up to lots of sunshine by 6 a.m. and temperatures in the low 60s. What we are watching out for, though, of course, is this area of high pressure. We've been talking about this thing for the last week at least. It will increase our chances for those showers and thunderstorms as we get into the weekend. Uh, but not for L.A. and Orange County. As you can see, the forecast for those places stays dry. We've got numbers in the Upper 70s and lower 80s as we get into the weekend. Uh, 79 degrees is the coolest those folks will get within this seven-day forecast. For the valleys, we're looking at 93 degrees on Friday, 94 on Saturday, and low 90s and mainly lots of sunshine will be what they see over the next several days. And then for the IE, 97 degrees for you. You're at 95 as we get into the weekend, and then you'll be cooling into the low 90s as we head toward the rest of the work week. Overnight lows will be in the upper 60s and lower 70s, and there could be an off chance for the IE to see a stray isolated shower or storm as we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. So we'll be monitoring this system as an area of high pressure comes closer and increases our chances for the showers and storms. I'll let you know what else is going on in the forecast and how long this could stick around. Coming up in just a little bit, back to you. All right, thanks, Marquita. Yeah. Wake up with CBS2 News this morning. Now with Marcy Gonzalez. Welcome to CBS Mornings. Up next, stories you'll be talking about today. That's a big deal. People stop me on the street and say, I always learn something new every day when I watch your show. This morning, we're going to begin with some good news. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS. The CBS News app, streaming CBS News Los Angeles. And KCAL 9. What does that mean? Hundreds of firefighters. Oh, no! Only on KCAL 9. CBS News Los Angeles and KCAL 9. Streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.